probably 19. Really? Yeah, wow. I think so. I think I was, I had hair on my balls, but this is a comb over. <laughs> When Kerry came out here, this was the first guy I ever saw get a standing ovation every single night. And he did impressions. It was all impressions. He could just say, Clint Eastwood, and make his face look like Clint Eastwood. He would do, like, Bruce Dern. I was going to be the man of a thousand faces, yeah. and I could do James Dean. <laughs> Henry Fonda was my big, my big closer. I'm not sure I know how to pick strawberries. The comics would watch you and get yeah. jealous because yeah. you were getting standing ovations. Yeah. And they go, he's not earning it. It's like, dude, he's standing. <laughs> I guess Jim thought of it as a very traditional, rich little type act. It wasn't, it was still super weird. That stuff that started to go downhill at that time for Jim, he just made a decision to be a comic. I'm just gonna be a comic from now on. That's how I work. You know, I fail the first time out really miserably. And then I go, Okay, I'll give up here. And he decided, I'm gonna do no impressions. And he would kind of die in the middle of a show that was just packed. Instead of writing jokes and writing an act, he would come on stage and just improvise all of it. How was Mitzi? What was Mitzi's point of view? She was a little resistant to that, but she didn't stop me. One time she said, what are you doing? You're the king of impressions. What are you doing? You don't get a second chance. And I said, well, you know, they got mad at Bob Dylan when he went electric. You know, I'm going electric, you know, and I'm going to experiment. And if I blow the whole thing, I blow the whole thing. Mitzi believed in him, gave him the time to fail. Because another act, if she didn't like him, the guy you go on and bomb like he was bombing at first, he's out of here. And I would sweat in the back here, in the hallway, waiting to go on, like, literally bleeding with sweat, because I just told myself I wasn't going to repeat one thing that I had said the night before. It would all be created in front of people. As luck would have it, Mitzi put him on stage every night, right next to Damon Wayans. He'd wait till I got off stage, <laughs> and he'd come up to me <laughs> laughing like that, and going like, you are the fucking angriest person I've ever seen in my life. Jim and I were kind of like brothers in war. We'd hang out just talking about the power we felt of not being afraid to bomb. I remember one night, that table back there, there were six guys that were drinking heavily and they were heckling me. I came off the stage and I walked up over this and onto the table and I grabbed a beer bottle and I smashed it on the side of the table and I did a whole from here to eternity on them. I went, come on! They just recoiled, and I said I didn't think so, and I dropped the beer bottle. Once I started bombing, I always felt, well, at least I'm going to be remembered for being the worst thing they've ever seen in their lives. 